Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Now, I'm going to ask that you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button on this video because I think you'll like it and I think you'll want to see more. And the reason is that there's been an absolute bombshell released at the COVID inquiry this morning. Now, this article uh, is dated at 9.46 this morning. Um, I'm recording this. It's 10 past 10 as I'm recording. Um, it will be the one that's probably released. I've probably released this. It'll be the midday release, I believe. Uh, by the time I can finish this, do the edit and so on and get this up. So you should be seeing this. It should be midday. So it's still fresh news. But what you're about to hear will be an example of why Nicola Sturgeon and all the others absolutely positively had to delete everything. It is an absolute revelation that goes to the heart of everything. It goes to show that this woman, who we previously thought was a, a, a maniacal uh, sociopath, a narcissist, you know, um, someone who literally just wanted to be Scotland's mammy. It appears now that it's worse than that. She's actually a megalomaniac. What she did was so terribly wrong and against all the advice she was given that it was so important that that advice never went on official forms and had to be deleted because what she's done has caused untold damage, immeasurable harm, harm beyond what anyone could ever think in the grand scope of things. We're going to take a look at it, but prepare yourself and do hit the subscribe button and do hit the like button because this will blow your tiny minds. Here goes. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that intro is making some very big claims. Can I follow it up? Well, I like to think, yes. Yes, I can follow it up because what was released today is stunning. Lockdown bombshell. Nicola Sturgeon was told that there was pretty much zero benefit in keeping us indoors. The lockdown was pointless. We already know the masks were pointless. They were told that had to be t hidden. You couldn't have had that revelation coming out that there was no point wearing the masks when she was forcing them on anyone. But now there was zero benefit in keeping people indoors and the lockdown was a waste of time. Look at the damage that has done to the economy. Look at the damage that has done to child development. Look at the loneliness that old people faced. Look at people dying alone in hospitals, in care homes, in their own home. And it didn't need to happen. And who's telling her this? An expert. Not an expert like a dentist who knows nothing about public health, but a real, genuine, proper expert who knows what he's talking about. And that information was hidden and ignored because Nicola Sturgeon needed to be Scotland's mammy. She needed to exercise her power. She needed millions of people in Scotland to be compliant to her will. And look at the damage. The former First Minister's empty rhetoric on COVID-19 was slammed at the UK COVID inquiry in a brutal assessment from a professor of infectious disease epidemiology at the University of Edinburgh. Not a dentist who calls himself a professor, even though it's only honorary and he's not a professor, and who failed dentistry seven times before becoming a dentist, and whose doctorate was only given because he wrote some minor scrawling trial about something that was completely unimportant. He was promoted to be Scotland's highest authority. Whereas a professor of infectious disease epidemiology, the expert, was ignored. And more than just ignored, they did the complete opposite of what he recommended. If that's the case, and it comes out and they can find the evidence that she's done this, that she said no, Think of the lawsuits that will follow because that will be her personal uh, decision against 
the evidence and advice given by senior experts. Are you stunned yet? Did, did my claims in the header come true? Everything that was done was pointless. All those lonely deaths, all that child development, pointless. A professor has given a brutal assessment of the Scottish Government's response to the outbreak of Covid. In a withering attack, Professor Mark Woolhouse, who was part of Holyrood's advisory group during the crisis. So he's not just some bloke writing in and saying do this. He's part of the actual group and he's the only epidemiologist on the group. Slammed the decision to shut schools a second time while also labelling the stay at home rules were never necessary. Never. This shocking analysis came as the UK COVID inquiry continued its three week stint in Edinburgh. Professor Woolhouse was a member of the Scottish Government COVID-19 advisory group during the pandemic. But yesterday he slammed the then First Minister Nicola Sturgeon for her empty rhetoric when she spoke about COVID deaths. Professor Woolhouse gave evidence to the inquiry chaired by Baroness Heather Hallett claiming that hundreds of people may have died unnecessarily after being told not to bother the NHS. So this is on top of the four and a half thousand that may well have may possibly allegedly been murdered in care homes by a deliberate policy of elderly genocide, maybe. Now there's hundreds more killed because of advice given against the experts advice given by the SNP, handed out and down to health authorities by the COVID group because Nicola Sturgeon needed to feel important. He continued that in his opinion, when Scotland went into lockdown, the Scottish government did not have the faintest idea how long we'd be in it for. And the professor stated that another of Hollywood COVID orders that Scots should stay at home was never necessary. He explained that this is because the R number, a measure of the disease's reproduction rate, was already decreasing before such measures were put in place in March 2020. And Professor Woolhouse said it had been clear from early on in the pandemic that there was very good evidence COVID transmitted very poorly outdoors. He added there was pretty much zero public health benefit to keeping us indoors. And they previously said there was zero health benefit in masks. Both policies pushed by cranky because she needed to look important on the international stage. Look at me, look at me, look at the power I wield. Look at the five million people compliant to my will. Queen Nick did this. Died, people died, death everywhere. And all of it can be laid at her door, her decisions. She was in control. She was one who demanded complete and total obedience. She ruled with an iron fist. It was her decisions. Nobody would ever gainsay her. She made sure that nobody could ever have a view that wasn't her view. And so everything that happened, every single thing, must by definition be down to her. I hope now people can get this doctor up into a courtroom, tell people what he advised and then get nippy sued. Every single one, thousands, perhaps millions of people can sue her. A huge class action. Take everything from her. Every single thing she owns. And then throw her into prison for the remainder of her life. Professor Woolhouse said it had been clear from early on in the pandemic that there was nothing to do. There was never any need for any of this, he said. People are outdoors or being intimate. It didn't matter. Another is criticisms related to rules prohibiting people going on solo hill walks during lockdown. He said it was utterly absurd. He said it devalues the whole idea of social distancing. Anyone can see this is nonsense. We had very good evidence coming back from China that, no, that the novel coronavirus transmits poorly outdoors. Very poorly. The experts said other lockdown rules were equally unnecessary. He said another good example was the absolute outcry in the summer of 2020 that people were going to beaches. There was never an outbreak of COVID anywhere in the world linked to a beach. He said it was fine. 
In May 2020, Miss Sturgeon had told the MSPs that she felt like crying after watching hundreds of people gathered at beaches across the country. Because they look, these people are out, they're happy, they're enjoying themselves. So no wonder that narcissistic sociopath was crying. She hated the idea of someone, somewhere, being happy. She's got such a miserable, empty, nothing-filled life. All she had was the lust for power and she did everything she could to make sure she got it and that included killing people. Her decisions undoubtedly killed people to make her look big on the stage. That is the measure of this woman and this professor has got her. He's got her. Professor Woolhouse admitted that during the first lockdown school closures were justifiable but said it become quickly apparent Schools were contributing so little to the spread of the disease. He claimed there was essentially no danger and that reopening the schools would take infection rates past any key to uh, tipping point. He said closing schools I accept essentially as a precautionary measure of the first lockdown because let's face it, people had to be panicking at that stage. It was necessarily or justifiable, but we should have realised much more quickly based on evidence that this was not an essential element of lockdown. And referring to the announcement of the school closures during the second lockdown, the professor said, it wasn't necessary, but they did it anyway. All else was then asked about Hollywood's general approach to tackling the pandemic. He replied, I have to say I didn't understand the Scottish government's strategy over the summer of 2020. The emphasis was on very, very cautious relaxation from lockdown. And it seemed to be important to the politicians that it was much more cautious than the one in England because they had to be different. It wasn't let's release people, it's let's release people slowly so that we can be seen to be different from England and push the ideology of independence. We will screw our people. We will make our people suffer. But hey, we'll get independence out of it. Now that we've killed four and a half thousand people in care homes, it's a doddle. The professor went on, they were emphasising the fact that it was different, but they did not articulate in any way that I understood what they thought the public health benefit of the caution would actually be, given what we said about the second wave. There was no public health benefit. It was purely a political decision to keep the difference. It was destroying the economy, it was destroying people's happiness. It was destroying people. He said in one email sent by the witness in January in 2020, he warned that the health system, his health system would become completely overwhelmed within a year if action was not taken. He claimed that Scotland's then chief medical officer, Dr Catherine Calderwood, a woman who bounced around the rules twice, kept breaking the rules. Uh, Nippy kept fighting to keep her. Uh, because, you know, she was on 125000 a year, Nippy's mate. Oh, well, I'll never get a job like this again. Um, and so Nippy tried to keep her, uh, but in the end she had to walk. It wasn't the first time that really broke it. It was the second time. And then it was her laissez-faire attitude. Oh, well, look, I'm important. I don't. Uh, the rules don't apply to me. Yes, they do, love. Off you go. Uh, but Nippy didn't like that. And then she brought in the next one and the next one and, the next, and so on. And the whole, uh, whole rhetoric of assholes, basically. Uh, the Inquiry Lead Counsel, Jamie Dawson KC, asked the witness whether the medical advisers of the government had at least the ability to do the basic epidemiology and arithmetic, but you're suggesting that, given the number that came up, they rather froze. Woolhouse replied, yes, they did. Covid, the decisions were already made. It wasn't going to be a decision based on science. It wasn't going to be a listen to the experts. It was, what did Nippy want? What did she want? And that's what it was. Uh, referring to Sturgeon's statement that no COVID death was acceptable, Woolhouse described this as empty rhetoric. He says, which devalues non-COVID deaths. If you don't die of COVID, you, uh, nobody cares. He said it misleads everybody. It misleads the public. No COVID death was acceptable, but other kind of deaths apparently were. And they rose. And it gave an entirely false impression of what the future holds and how this pandemic is going to look. Woolhouse said the only way to achieve the no COVID death acceptable policy would have been to implement a zero COVID plan consisting of indefinite lockdown. But he stressed such measures were never deliverable. Um, hospital, hospital admissions for COVID, um, for, sorry, for non-COVID deaths fell off a cliff. Nobody dare go. People were dying at home of other things. The, the non-COVID deaths rose massively, especially cancer deaths. Anyway, he explained, most of the hospitals in Scotland had their quietest time in living memory during the first lockdown because no one else was going to hospital. A lot of those people should have been going to hospital. They died because the focus of the government was on preparing the NHS Scotland 
for COVID, not for other things. People dying. Nippy killed people with her decisions. That man knew it. That man said she ignored him. Everything that happens, her fault. I hope I've made good on my promise about the revelations and that you will hit the subscribe and you will definitely hit the like. Thank you on coming up. There needs to be a test case. We need we need some solicitor to pro bono this case and get her into court and have someone sue her and have this professor as a witness and make sure she's found guilty. And I think if it was in front of a jury, she would be found guilty and she knows it. And that is one of the reasons they are so furiously deleting everything. They have got to hide the evidence of the fact that they went against expert opinion and did what they were doing knowing full well it would kill people that is a crime she needs to go to prison oh my god mark woolhouse you sir are a hero for telling the truth and long may you stand and i hope the police are going to protect him because i suspect there may be an accident thank you very much for watching do please hit the subscribe button do please hit the like button till next time stay safe stay well and stay angry. Bye.